right, here we are. We are heading out to Jefferson City from Kansas City, Missouri. A uh, nice sunshiny day, weather conditions about 70 right now, maybe uh, upper 70s, close to 80. And uh, this is after I did the coolant upgrade. Again, this radiator is meant for a 460, uh, the 7.5. This has the natural aspirated diesel. I had to do a lot of fabrication, ended up ordering the wrong radiator support bracket. So I modified some stuff to make it work. Long story short, behind me I have a 16 foot trailer empty. Right now I have the fuse that's pulled out from uh, my circuit. Looks like the little fuse holder is loose and was melting my fuses, but it wasn't burning the fuse. So uh, signs of that bad connection right there where it was is it was getting hot. So I kind of tweaked it a little bit, and uh, like I said, I got the fuse out right now. And uh, when we get to Jefferson City, uh, I'll probably have to put the fuse back in it on my way back, and uh, we'll see how well this uh, truck runs first. Um, I might run it without, I haven't made up my mind yet, just to see how cool it is. But on the highway, She's running right where she should be. It's enough airflow. It's a huge radiator, huge. I converted from uh, electric, or I'm sorry, I converted from a uh, uh, centrifugal clutch fan to uh, electric. So right now the fans are not running. So here we are, made it to Jefferson City. Uh, I did end up throwing a fuse in. Traffic got pretty heavy at one point. Uh, definitely sitting still, uh, pulling just an empty trailer alone. She's run a little warmer than what I liked. Uh, threw a fuse in and everything was fine. Now the ride home is going to be a little bit more fun. See how she does. Uh, you're like, oh, huh, another Ford. Ford full and Ford. Well, we're going to wind up somewhere on the side of the road. Uh, no, this one's a little bit special. This one has a 351 Windsor in it, EFI. This is only half Ford. This is an international with a German transmission. Yeah, buddy, we're going to see how she does. 150 miles due back west. And here we are, in case some of you are wondering what this coolant upgrade looks like. This, uh, this guy right here is actually meant to go inside of 467.5 gasoline. It is not supposed to be in here. This is the support bracket that is meant to go inside the gasoline radiator uh, guy itself. So I have my own little system built up that tells the fans to kick on. There's a little relay over there. On one of my other videos, you can see how I did the, uh, the wiring. Uh, there's a the little sensor. Um, I will be changing him out. He just engages at uh, a lower temp um, and, and it just makes it run. Uh, when it's not quite where I want it to be, I want the engine to be a tad bit warmer, so I'll probably get a different one of those. So here we are towing this thing. Been on and out for about an hour outside of Columbia. Pretty much as hot as it gets, the pedal has been mashed. The uh, tow, the amount that I have loaded, it is either at or slightly over 6,000 pounds. So yeah, she is pushed to her limit right now.